It's finally time, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. The 2020 NBA Finals. Miami Heat. Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, 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 oh. Is LeBron taking on his former team? Pat Riley. Eric Spolstra in Miami. We got a couple of premier small forwards going at it. It's LeBron James versus Jimmy Butler. We got some very talented big fellas, both out of Kentucky. We got Bam out of Bayou versus Anthony Davis. Both of those gentlemen making their NBA Finals debut. They are. We got a point forward, a point center. Oh, I love it. I love it. And we got some nice matchups as well. Danny Green, who's the guy that I compared Tyler Hero 2 coming out of college It was Danny Green But I'm going to be real with you Tyler can put that thing on the ground a little more than Danny Green So I'm looking at a matchup Between those gentlemen that I'm super excited about Rajon Rondo What will he contribute To this series? He's been pretty darn good Dwight Howard Made an appearance in that Lakers Versus Nuggets series Will he have the assignment of Garden Bam out of Bayou? Will he get, will he get the start? Will Jay Crowder Get the start, or will the Heat go with Andre Iguodala? Iguodala has experience. Guard LeBron James won a Finals MVP as he did guard LeBron James. I believe Iggy has been able to hold LeBron James to around 45% shooting from the field. It ain't that look that, that's still decent, but LeBron with everybody else guarding him and throughout his playoff career, I think he's at 51, 52%. So Iggy has had some success, even though LeBron averaged like 30 on him the year he won the finals MVP. By the way, congratulations to Andre Iguodala. This is his sixth straight NBA Finals appearance. He's looking for ring number four. Hey, there are a lot of storylines brewing here, as it is Miami, Los Angeles. Boy, this will be a great NBA Finals if we have fans. We don't. We in a bubble. Somebody's going to win that bubble championship, damn it. Frank Vogel, Eric Spolstra, who's going to be the best coach? I'm looking at some veteran leadership on both of these teams' bench. Udonis Haslam, kind of like a, a, a unofficial assistant coach for Miami. I'm so excited about this matchup, man. Okay, so here's why y'all pay me the big bucks. Predictions. Who do you have and in how many games? Well, y'all know dang well I'm picking my Lakers. I am riding with my Lakers. And let me be fair. It's coming into this year. I did pick the Clippers to beat the Lakers. I'm a realist first. I'm unbiased before I'm a fan. Always remember that. Unbiased before I'm a fan. Um, I picked the Lakers to beat the Trailblazers in seven games. My Lakers got rid of Portland in five. Now, I will just say this. I do believe if Dane was healthy, Portland would have got another game or two, but he was injured for the latter part of that series. I picked my Lakers in, I believe, six games versus the Houston Rockets. They took care of business in five. I picked my Lakers in uh i think i picked the lakers in like six against denver it took care of business in five as well swing over to miami i had miami beating the indiana pacers in seven games they took care of business in four and when i realized it would be miami and milwaukee and everything that was going on in that buck side i realized it was a bad matchup just to be clear i had milwaukee going to the finals before the season started when I realized they matched up, they would be matching up against Miami in the second round, I picked the Miami Heat. And they did they, they took care of that business in five games. I know Giannis was injured, but even when Giannis was on the court, Miami was taking care of business. They built they built a brick wall against Anthony Kumpo, the MVP of this league, and took care of business. I did not pick Miami to get past the Boston Celtics in the conference final. I, I think I picked Boston in seven games. Be fair to Miami. They got every reason to kind of throw it in my face, especially if they go out and beat my Lakers in the finals. You will shut me up forever. And I want to say this to Laker Nation before I give you guys my finals prediction. Laker Nation, LeBron is one of us now. I know last year it felt like LeBron was half invested, feel like he didn't want to play with a lot of those young dudes, Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart, Brandon Ingram. I get it. He was bringing wine to the, the games. He seemed a little disengaged and he's such a great player a disengaged lebron is still better than 90 percent of the league that's how great he is but he wasn't himself he got injured maybe it means he wasn't taking care of his body to the to, to what we know lebron to do with his body year in year out i don't know he was producing rap albums for two chains all that mess well this year it feels like the lakers got that chemistry they got that camaraderie you bring in anthony davis that's gonna obviously positively impact some things 
And, um, you know, LeBron had a great year this year. A lot of people believe he was the MVP of the league. I do not, but he finished number two in the, in the, in the, in the rankings for MVP. All right? LeBron has earned to be one of us. Obviously dealing with Kobe passing. LeBron's one of us now, y'all. As long as we got LeBron, maybe it's for the rest of his career. Maybe it's not. I want to give LeBron that. He has earned the right to wear that purple and gold. Laker Nation, if LeBron loses, we lose. It's simple as that. I wouldn't have said that last year because LeBron was kind of in and out. But I want to be clear and concise with this one. This year, LeBron has been balling all year. Led the league in assists, top 10, top 15 in points. He helped facilitate Anthony Davis into this, this lineup and, and, and build him up as a leader. Looks like Anthony Davis is taking better care of his body this year than in years in the past. Give LeBron that credit this year. We cannot remove ourselves from the late from LeBron this year, Laker Nation. We can't if LeBron loses, we can't be like, man, I told y'all he won. He won Cope. No, 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 no. LeBron is one of us now. If LeBron loses, we lose it. If LeBron struggles, the Lakers struggle. He is with us now. All right? That's the least we could do for the season that he has had. I want to put that out in the atmosphere. Now, it is time for my prediction. What do you got, Pharaoh? I am going to pick my Los Angeles Lakers to beat the Miami Heat in six games. That's what I got, y'all. I got the Lakers in six games. I believe the Lakers come out. And obviously, I'm saying this with no injuries being involved. I got the Lakers coming out in Miami in the mouth in game one. I'll give the Heat game two. I'll go Lake Show game three. I say Heat tie this thing up at four. And after that, when we tie that two, it is going to be a very rocky, rocky couple of days for LeBron as all the pressure will mount. Is he really about to lose to Miami? This is supposed to be one of his easiest championship runs. I say the Lakers come out. Win game five. Close that thing out in the bubble in game six. LeBron wins his fourth championship. Anthony Davis wins his first championship. But get this. Here's a little caveat. My finals MVP prediction. Anthony Davis. Not LeBron James. That's what I got, y'all. No disrespect to Jimmy Butler and Bam out of Bayou. If you get two games against LeBron and Anthony Davis in their prom, nothing to sneeze at. For me, my X factor of this series. Obviously, I already told you I got AD winning finals MVP. I think LeBron's going to be great. My X factor for this series, though, is another Laker. Dwight Howard. We'll see what Frank Vogel opts to do with, with Dwight. Obviously, in the Houston series, Dwight pretty much didn't play at all. In the Nuggets series, Dwight, towards the end of that bad boy, he was very important. He started. He guarded Joker. And he was a big factor in, in tiring the Joker out. So I don't believe Dwight will play as much as he did versus Denver, but I don't believe he'll play as least um, the least, the less amount of minutes he played against uh, Houston. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I believe it'll be somewhere in between. He might get the start, but I think towards the end of those games, the Lakers might go small ball depending on what Miami opts to do. I think Dwight Howard can really give Bam out of Bayou some trouble. You know, I am somebody who said, when Bam was coming out of Kentucky, I said he reminds me of Dwight Howard, just a lot more versatile. Not as good defensively, but a lot more versatile on the, peri versatile on the perimeter. That was my comparison. Say what you want about Dwight Howard. He maybe can't go out and get you 25 and 12 a night and four blocks a night and win defensive player of the years. One thing we got to give the brother credit, his body still looks chiseled as hell. Dwight's frame still looks incredible. And with a frame like that against Bam, you're going to cause him problems. Can Bam, can Dwight give Bam one foul in the first quarter? I am no. I know LeBron or Anthony Davis is going to give Bam one foul in the first quarter, at least between the two of them. So that's two fouls right there. Will Bam be able to stay on the floor? I'm not 100% sure. Jay Crowder. To y'all a little caveat about, uh, a, little, a little tidbit about Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder did not like playing with LeBron James when he did in Cleveland. Remember Crowder got traded to Utah midseason? When, when Dan Gilbert and the Cavaliers decided to just one night 
get rid of pretty much 80% of their they team. They gutted the whole roster. Jay Crowder got moved in that in that deal to, to, to Utah. And he ended up going to Memphis and then Memphis to Miami. Jay Crowder didn't like playing with LeBron. This is his opportunity for some get back. My, if, if I had to give you guys an X factor for Miami, because I do believe Tyler Hero is going to struggle in this series. My X factor for Miami, uh, I'll, I'll go Goran Dragic. I'll go Goran Dragic. I'll, I'll say Dragic is a guy that, uh, you know, who you going to throw on him if you're the Lakers? Uh, you can always do LeBron on him, but I think LeBron will have his hands filled with Jimmy Butler. Um, you know, Dragic could give Rondo some problems. Dragic could, could, could catch Rondo slipping. That's possible. That's very possible. So I will go Goran Dragic as my X factor for Miami. Dwight, my X factor for Los Angeles. But with all that being said, I believe at the end of the day, the image that we're going to see in two weeks from now will be LeBron holding up the championship trophy with his finals MVP, Anthony Davis, holding up his award as well. And we're going to do it for Kobe. This is the win one for Mamba. I believe we finally get one good positive end note from this very, very awkward, uh, sometimes embarrassing uh, sad news driven 2020 with losing Kobe in January uh, as good a storyline we can get coming out of this bad boy is the Lakers keeping their lineup together again remember Kobe was present at some of the Laker games this season he was starting to bring his daughter Gigi to the games he lost both of them the Lakers can 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 get feel good about themselves in, in some form or fashion by winning this one for Kobe Winning this one for Kobe. It'll be great in that organization. Rob Palinka, Kobe Bryant's former, you know, his best friend, his agent. Yeah, I think this happens, y'all. I think the Lakers win versus the Miami Heat in, in, in six games. Y'all let me know in the comment section, please. Give me all your predictions. Let me know what how many games you think this was going. Who's going to win each game? All that great stuff. Who you got? I want to know who you got. Lakers, Heat. I'm going Lakers. I wanted to say Lakers in five. But because I'm going to be respectful to Jimmy Butler and their run and how they locked up Giannis, I'm going to say Lakers in six. I'm out.